Hello and welcome to Regulatory Wrap. This week is a big week for us as we've launched our second Industry Insights Report. Over the last few months, we've been asking compliance, risk and surveillance professionals to fill in a survey and tell us how they're managing compliant communications challenges within their businesses. We've also asked them how they're approaching emerging trends such as AI, surveillance and social media risk. We received a deluge of responses from across the globe with responses from CEOs, CCOs, heads of surveillance and compliance officers. This year's report had found that despite continued regulatory enforcement for off-channel communications, 44% of compliance teams continue to ban WhatsApp and WeChat. This is particularly interesting given that only half of those opting for channel bans actually believe they're effective. We've also seen that the use of bring your own device or BYOD approaches has increased since 2023, with 67% of firms opting for BYOD over corporate issued devices, up from 51% in 2023. A lot of people we talked to have suggested that they're actually moving back to corporate issued devices, but it seems as though industry perception and reality could differ here. Social media risk looks as though it could be a hot topic for the year ahead, with 55% of firms saying that they consider social media to be a compliance risk. Within the report, you can hear more from compliance experts about the tools they're putting in place to mitigate this risk, from bans to archiving and attestations. And finally, the topic on everyone's lips, artificial intelligence. 42% of global respondents have said that they plan on introducing an AI into compliance workflows over the course of the next year. However, only 33% of North American firms are looking to use it, showing a much more risk-averse approach to fast-evolving technology. If you want to know more about how compliance teams are managing compliant communication with expert commentary, compliance strategies and more, then you can download the report using the link below. We hope you like it. Join us next week for another regulatory wrap.